Hi there, Cosmic Family. My name is Yehleal in this incarnation. Well, today we need to continue talking about this conjunction between the Sun and Uranus in Taurus. Uh, this happens once a year and it has been happening in Taurus, but from 2026 they are going to occur in Gemini. Uranus stays more or less seven years in each sign. And Taurus is a sign associated with stability and security. Uh, you know, as humans, we have many times this tendency uh, of taking for granted many things uh, according to the realities we experiment. This is, of course, going to be different for each one. Uh, but a person, the, people could think that their houses are, are secure. Uh, people could take for granted that their bodies are stable, but suddenly something manifests in the body. And that reminds us that we have to take care of it, that uh, the 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 body is an extension of the soul that the soul manifests through the body and that to be healthy is something that we really have to appreciate and give value to or um, a, an extreme natural event is presented that is very associated with uranus in this position and then the, the house or the city we were living is is not that safe it's not that secure um you know since uh, 2019, uh, where Uranus entered in Taurus, uh, climatic, unexpected climatic changes, climatic changes have, have been synchronic in its transits, with its transits. So this conjunction that we are transiting right now has been active uh, before the new moon, and it is going to be so after uh, May 13th, which is the day that it is going to perfect the conjunction. But generally, the transits, we feel them in the previous days when the planets are approaching the mathematical degree uh, with more intensity, I mean. So, with this, of course, <laughs> I'm not uh, trying to you to think that something is going to happen to you uh, of these types of, of, of things, although, uh, you know, it, it, it has happened a lot of things in the collective, but uh, they uh, this could also manifest another kind of uh, surprises. Uh, that's what I'm trying to say. I wanted to amplify this concept that what Uranus could take, you know, what the, the lining could, the, the structures that the lining could destroy, it is very associated with the tower card in the, the tarot, or the shocking experiences that could come. They come as to give us this big awakening uh, so we can align ourselves with a, um, a higher energy, with our higher self, and to operate from that uh, space, you know, from that original being in, in the earth, which is Taurus. Let's, rem re let's remember that um, that thing that we call higher self is uh, this level of the soul or aspects aspect of the self that is in its um, highest perfection before dissolving in the source of light. So that is the original identity, if we, if we want to call it in some way. And it, it is the one that rules all the eyes, all the eyes in every quantic line and parallel multiverse. Uh, they exist and there are people that can have access to them. So I, I don't want to, uh, you know, um, lose myself in, in other things. Coming back to Earth, many times um, situations that are leaving us, you know, in, in that shocking state, um, they, push it, they push us um, to uncover resources and to reveal parts of us that we didn't know. And many times we are so resistant and so attached to what we consider that is secure, that life has to show us uh, in a very particular way that, and, and many times not wanted, what is necessary to do to continue our evolution with our evolution. But we don't always have to wait, uh, you know, until life choose for us through a destiny sim. With this, I am not referring that we have a, a, like a marked destiny. You know, there are many things that are pacted by the soul, but um, there are a lot of experiences that we co-create them. And many times we co-create them from unconscious patterns. So um, through these big awakenings uh, of life, we understand that they are not no more a fertile space, a fertile path. But we could also choose to give steps uh, you know, outside of the known. We, we could uh, choose to give steps out of the comfortable uh, zone, 
the comfort zone. It is not comfortable, but uh, well, it is called that way. I don't know why. Uh, well, what I, I've been saying in, in the last videos is this is an extension of the new moon. Uh, but we are feeling this acceleration and, and things are manifesting and there is like this weird uh, climb, uh, climatic, uh, no, I don't know the word, uh, this this weird weather and uh, energy, you know, uh, Uranus is, is strange. Uh, so the manifestations occur in areas associated with uh, the physical body, the resources and to everything that we can attribute stability or security, which can include relationships. It is going to depend in which area of our natal chart we have Taurus. But um, I wanted to remind you that Jupiter is still in orb of conjunction and the Sun, after this encounter with Uranus, it is going to have a meet with Jupiter. So, so we can be conscious because the, the sun illuminates, uh, so we can makes us make us conscious um, about the the opportunities and the blessings that are on the other side of changes, um, and also observing uh, the beliefs that are uh, preventing us from seeing our own value and connecting with the perception of abundance and prosperity that is not only linked with having, having things, you know, possessing things, because many people could have a lot of money at this present moment. And uh, even though they are not capable of enjoying life or seeing a sense in it, because they are in the automatic pilot that are disconnecting them from their soul. So, um, I think that if we have, you know, a place to sleep, if we have something to, uh, you know, uh, I, I'm not getting the word right now, but uh, <laughs> if we have something when, when it is cold, uh, if we have food in our plate, um, you know, health among other basic things, we are in a position of appreciating all of those things and to dispose our energy at the service of the highest path. And of course, uh, it can occur experiences that are challenging us in that process. But I think that everything that we are experimenting are, is reminding us humans, you know, is reminding us as humans that the value Taurus is in sharing. We have forgo forgotten of giving from our heart and without expectations because this programming of survival is still on track, you know, it's still in effect, uh, the, the fear of losing. And it is something understandable because, you know, as, as a collective, we have been going through many experiences, many painful experiences until today. But also we have been educated that way to to think that way. So um, we are in this phase of understanding right now that to give in alignment with the soul and two or three videos um, behind, you know, I explained this in, in, a, in a more specific way, which what means to give from the soul. Um, when we do it from that place, um, there occurs the, the reciprocity because that is a universal law, an energetic law. So many of the things that we are going through as humans and many of the things that we could go through, uh, I think they are reminding us of this, that if we, uh, you know, give whatever thing we came to give from our souls, uh, contributing from contributing from our place, from our role, then we can all live in prosperity. So I just wanted to leave this message today. Thank you, everyone, and see you in the next video. Ciao, ciao.